Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. On today's video we're going to be talking about our Q270 Pro BTC motherboards from AS Rock. We just got a big shipment, just came in, 30 motherboards being set up for our mining farm here. If you guys are uh, subscribed to the channel, you know the mining farm we have. I'll show you guys a quick view here. There it is, being set up as we speak. But we're talking about the Q270. So currently, uh, still building out the Q270s or setting them up basically, still unpacking them. Then you got to plug in the CPU, then you got to plug in the RAM and all that stuff. So I wanted to show you guys some of the features of the Q270, some of the things that you can get to run on them. So here's some of them. Just got them ready, plug in the CPU, the RAM, and <clears throat> getting them ready for their big great adventure of mining crypto. So for the Q270, show you guys the I.O. ports here. It has standard I.O. ports. You don't really need anything other than HDMI, a USB, and an Ethernet. Audio is useless, and this is like from 1920s. This is like dinosaur level technology right here. No one uses that garbage. Um, but what you need is a USB, HDMI, and Ethernet. So it has all those things. Then how we run this is we run a uh, standard like i3. You know, If we get a good price on an i5, we'll get an i5 processor. But I think these are 7th gen. It is a, or 6th gen actually, it's a 7th or 6th gen, I think, motherboard. But we run a i3-6100 processor, so it's just a 2-core, 4-thread processor. Um, <clears throat> we also run a G-Skill RAM, so it's a 16-gig RAM stick. So we get a good deal on them. They come in packs of two, and they're both 16 gigs, so it's a total of 32 gigs, but we only run one. It's about like 80 bucks and then the processor, you know, it's not that much. But we run these guys. Um, and then in terms of what this motherboard can handle. So this motherboard can handle all 13 GPUs. We already tested it out. You can see here it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's got 13 and we ran them all on 3080 rig. They all ran just fine. So we know that it works. It's not one of those situations where... All of them work except this 16x slot right here but actually all of them do work including the 16x so we noticed some other mining boards out there where this actual lane does not want to work you plug it in and doesn't want to boot up this motherboard has no problems so you can run 13 gpus which is great that's what we want to do we run 3080s sometimes 3090s but usually we run just 3080s it runs them just fine in terms of power this motherboard also requires extra power you notice on uh, various motherboards that have like 10, 12, 13, 14 uh, GPUs loaded on it, it, it requires more power, I guess, for signals or whatever it wants the power for. That's interesting because the riser is where the power is coming from, but it still requires more power for the motherboard. So the power it requires is one Molex here, one Molex here, and then a SATA here. So you have to run, you know, a weird little setup here because, uh, you know, having a SATA like that you know is is a, a little different setup and then you have to we also run them on our 1500 hp server psus so we have to run special wires to actually make it work it, it would work a lot faster and better if you were just to run like a consumer grade psu but since we're running server grade psus it's a little different setup but it works so we got those three additional powers coming in you got your cpu plug right here uh plugs in uh, so what we do is we run a regular SSD. Maybe sometime in the future we, we might run an NVMe. You can see here is an NVMe slot right there. We might run an NVMe sometime in the future, but for now we're just sticking to SSDs. Uh, so it's a 480 gigabyte SSD. Um, you get to two, two uh, buttons here. It's a power on and a reset. So you do not need one of those power buttons that we usually have. You can actually just kind of put your hand back here and press the power on and reset. So that works fine. Then of course you have your regular motherboard plug-in right there all right so SATA ports here and you got your chipset right here under there under that heat sink so yeah so motherboard works great um, been running it just fine uh, it's also looks like a good quality motherboard uh, AS rock does a decent job and just looking at the quality of the build uh, the motherboard does look good it does not look like it's cheap it, it doesn't have like any of these uh, I think these are phases I think the name of them are these little blocks here they don't look crooked or you know you know some other motherboards kind of cheap out and they do a you know not not a great quality job on the solder 
but this motherboard does a good job i can tell by the connections i can tell by the quality of these pci express ports here the quality of the board itself you can kind of even touch it feel it you can tell that it's not cheap and then as well as uh, flipping it over taking a look at the solder on the back taking a look at uh, all the signals all the uh, electric lanes there and the motherboard is in a good quality you know manufacturement so it does a good job so we can set these guys up and like i said I'm about 30 of them so uh, you know imagine how long it's going to take to actually set these up what we also do on them is uh after i set them up like this we also have three pipes that cover the, the, this side here, this side here, and then the middle pipe. So that way it, sits, it doesn't sit on the metal of the rack. It just sits on the plastic pipes, doesn't conduct electricity. We do that for all of these uh, motherboards. What we also do is uh, we, the first thing we do is we boot it up, um, make sure it runs, update the BIOS, uh, turn off audio. So HD audio, we don't need that, turn that off. Uh, turn on power cycle so it goes auto power on if it loses power we need to turn that on and then after that uh, we uh, oh we turn on the uh, display output for the CPU because these CPUs that we purchase uh, we buy them with UHD graphics so we want to keep it at UHD graphics we don't want to run them off of discrete graphics so we got to go into BIOS and change it to run off of the U UHD graphics so we do that as well after all of that uh, to make sure that it actually does work um, once we start setting up the board so first we're going to do that to all 30 boards here right after we do that we all we then we then plug in the board say for you know that first rig right there so that'd be rig number one we plug it in and then we test it with a tekken uh, so tekken is the wireless on and off cycle which is this right here so we plug this guy in plug it into the power and then kill the power just randomly kill the power and ha wait like 10 seconds and then turn Tekken on and if the power on function of the motherboard is working it should turn on the board the board should turn itself back on so we got to make sure Tekken works so once we set it up we plug it in we run our Tekken uh, try if Tekken checks out fine Tekken worked then great motherboard has saved all the information we gave it and it's ready to be deployed so after that we actually start building out the rig put on the GPUs the risers plugging everything in and getting everything ready. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Just wanted you guys a little heads up on Q270 Pro if you're interested in getting those for yourself. They are a decent board, a good board. Um, 13 GPUs, it, it, you know, the best the best would be actually 14 GPUs. I wish the Q270 had 14 GPUs, but it does not have that. Now, why do I say 14? Is because at 14 GPUs, you would actually utilize most of the, or all of the uh, available power on a 20 amp, you know, 220, 230, 240 volt um, electricity so we're running out of electricity down to the racks and if you actually had 14 GPUs on it then you'll be able to utilize all um, all of the available power now I'm not saying go to 20 amps I'm saying go to like you would utilize like 17 amps or whatever it is or 18 amps you know like around there um, so you'd be at that 80 percent 80 percent 90 percent um, but not more than that you know my 90 percent is like the maximum but you want to stay at like eight, around 80 percent so you actually utilize that but at 13 GPUs it's not there it's almost there and so by uh, having it only at 13 you actually just have to buy more and more stuff because you, you know you're not going to fit uh, 14 GPUs on there and you're not going to use all that conduit um, on top of that you also have a situation where for our setup we have it planned out where we have two GPUs here at the bottom two GPUs here at the, at the right hand side as well at the bottom and they got 10 GPUs here and they have nice good space where you can put your hand in there and grab a GPU if it has a problem so that's 14 GPUs but because these Q270s are not 14 they're only 13 um, then we have extra space so if you count that up for every 13 rigs you have to build a four, uh, 14th one right so every 13 rigs so if you're building out 26 rigs now it's going to be not 26 I mean it would have been it would have been a uh, for every 28 rigs you could have you know saved yourself two more rigs so that's like an extra cost but at least the as rock q270 are brand new boards and, and a newer in a i wouldn't say newer technology but brand new boards with an easier setup it also doesn't have that mixture of power so we're we're well not mixture but different channels of power like the b250 would have three different power sections on the motherboard this one doesn't doesn't care where you plug it in you can plug in a USB riser into any of the ports and it doesn't care where the power is coming from, which is really, really nice when mining on them. 
All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Go to cryptollc.org if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, or if you're looking to buy yourself some GPUs, 3080, 3070, 3060, 1660, you know, and so on. So go to Check out our spreadsheet. Got all the prices and availability on there. Or if you're looking for someone to set up a farm for you, such as this one right here. That's going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.